LeBron James has been the best player of his generation not named Kobe Bryant. He's won three championship rings and is on a quest to match Kobe's five championship rings. But let's be honest, he ain't reaching Michael Jordan's six. Though we've seen LeBron win the Eastern Conference the last six seasons, it doesn't mean he's guaranteed to win every year until he retires. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we take a look at eight reasons why the King may never win another NBA championship. Number 8. Boston Clam Chowder Looking into the crystal ball, the Boston Celtics figure to be a juggernaut in the coming seasons. They have by far the East's top young core, ranging from Kelly Olenek to Jay Crowder to Isaiah Thomas, plus veteran Al Horford. In a more competitive Eastern Conference last year, the Celtics won 48 games. They haven't even reached their potential yet. When LeBron James is 34, these young Celtics will be too fast for him to handle. So realistically, LeBron's best chances to win are in 2017 and 2018. Number 7. Eastern Rising Remember when LeBron won the East with ease every year? Times are getting a bit tougher for the King. The Indiana Pacers pushed his Miami Heat to six games in 2014. The much less talented Toronto Raptors pushed his Cavaliers to six games in the 2016 Eastern Conference Final. The Cavaliers aren't getting through the East with as much ease these days. So you know the Raptors with DeMar DeRozan and Kyle Lowry will push his Cavs to the limit. The Celtics are up and coming, and the Chicago Bulls look entirely reformed with Dwayne Wade and Rajon Rondo joining Jimmy Butler. Perhaps for once, this Eastern Conference won't be a cakewalk for LeBron anymore. Number 6. Cavaliers Can't Stay Lucky Let's be honest, that run against the Golden State Warriors a season ago relied on a bit of luck. There's no way Golden State blows another lead like that. They are much better than the Cavaliers, save for that three-game losing streak to close out the 2016 NBA Finals. Just everything seems to line up for the Cavaliers every year. They blaze through a weak Eastern Conference and then a Western Conference team that is much better than them folds in the NBA Finals. It happened in 2016. Now let's see him do it again. We bet it won't happen. Number 5. Long Playoff Runs Obviously, players want to go on as many long playoff runs as possible, but it's clear they can get burnt out after a while. Here's the 32-year-old James, who's always in the NBA Finals. Not only that, but the series often pushes six or seven games. James has already shown a few signs of slowing down and no longer being in his absolute prime. Yes, a 36-year-old James will still probably be better than 95% of NBA players, but you can't overlook the wear and tear these long runs will put on his body. Number 4. His Age Kobe Bryant won his last NBA championship ring just before his 32nd birthday. Yeah, Michael Jordan was 35 when he won his final championship, but playing with Scottie Pippen and Dennis Rodman will help carry the burden. Here's the thing. Kyrie Irving is a good sidekick, but he is no Rodman or Pippen. Kevin Love is also 28, but he's not as good as MJ's sidekicks either. LeBron still carries this team for the most part, and it's going to be tough to do it much longer at his age. Number 3. Declining Stats The stats don't lie. As Bill Nye the Science Guy would say, consider the following. In both 2014 through 2015, and 2015 through 2016, he averaged 25.3 points per game. Those were the lowest of his career since his rookie season. Even in the 2016 postseason, his 26.3 points per game were his lowest since 2012-2013. His .309 three-point shooting percentage was his lowest since his rookie year. Now LeBron's still great, but it's hard to imagine a 32-year-old improving these stats as he gets older. Father time is undefeated after all. Number 2. The Golden State Warriors are better we hold the right to believe that the Warriors will win the West for, say, the next three seasons. Stephen Curry is threatening LeBron as the league's best player every season. Draymond Green and Klay Thompson are a dangerous pair of sidekicks, and now they have Kevin Durant who is a top three player in the NBA. The Warriors dominated Cleveland in the 2015 Finals and nearly beat them again to close it out in 2016. Now that they have Durant, they're a far better team. If these teams keep meeting in the Finals, who do you think is going to win? And number one, and the Warriors will last a long time. So by the time the Warriors no longer dominate the West the way they are now, LeBron and the Cavaliers dynasty should be over as well. You see, Stephen Curry will be 29 in 2017. Based on how well slick three-point shooter Ray Allen produced, Curry could be sniping threes for another decade. Like, for real. Durant, 28, easily has a handful of prime years left, certainly more than LeBron, who's four years older than him. Klay Thompson turns 27 in the new year. Ditto for Draymond Green. So you're telling us the Dubs four stars are all a few years younger than LeBron? Yep, there's a good chance the Warriors hold off LeBron's quest for ring number four. Do you think LeBron wins another ring? 
Join us in the comments below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.